You're watching Banks. Another vibe, another reaction. Let's get right straight into it. Let's get another right vibe, straight another into reaction. it. This right one is a guy it. himself from his deluxe album, uh, Udumudu Black. One of the guys that have had a very great year featuring Black Sherry. If this is Woto Woto seasoning, guys. Let's just get right straight into this one, man. You know, we've come to we've come to accept that Udumodu Black is not just an anomaly. He's a unique beast of music, you know. He's an artist that stir up a bit of a controversial in the past couple of days, but we're not here for that. We're here for the music. Let's go. You're watching Banks. Another vibe. Let's see. This be my victim. Whip one, whip two, whip two. Kalana the in thing. Okay. I go swing along. We the man for the wing wing. Drive by Wujo. You know, I've heard a snippet of this song yeah, before the full song came out, and I was just laughing. I was in bed when I watched. I was like, "This guy's unique, man." It's, it's just he makes me happy when I hear him sing, man. Like he just because, especially for me as a Nigerian and following the journey of Afrobeat, not the new Afrobeat. I'm talking about from '98, '99, and. Just hearing some of the sounds that I've heard similarly before. The only difference is now, you know, as technology is advanced, his lyrics and his sound and the beat, everything is advanced in comparison to those guys that did it first. But yeah. And because I'm a football coach, yeah, and as well as aside from that, as obviously I'm a football fan and football coach and all that stuff, it's just a bar, man. If you're not Nigerian, you wouldn't know what monkey post means. You would not know. You would not understand what monkey post is. You know, growing up, monkey post, eh? Hey, just with. Ah, Jesus is Lord. Anyway, let's just carry on. People, I give a yakata. Kole, bakurumo give a mabara. Oh yeah, shukwala. We do this. Sorry, bakurumo give a mabara. Ay, ay. Anyway, let's. I don't want to do this all night, so let's just carry on. I shoot, he die. He turn to cadaver. He scared, he tight. He hammer while I pump. I drink. Aha. Who you be? I'm on a me be the guy. But this be my big thing. Whip one, whip two, whip two. Gala na di inti. I go swing along. We the men for the win win. Drive by Ujo, drinking Woto Woto season. Woto Woto season. Ah, you know that's the uniqueness about Odimodi Black and why I think his song and his sound will resonate. I'll tell you why. Um, someone like Odimodi Black can um, form a cult. And I don't mean cult. And you know people in this world, everything that has been associated with negative stuff, this is how you guys would just think every time the word is mentioned is negative. A cult is a group of people, group of people or group of persons or just a group of family members, yeah, all coming together for one single, one single motive. Could be anything. Could be financially. It could be if we have to go and fetch water to get food to beg. It's still a cult because you all believe in one thing. Christian, or a cult now. All of you now. You guys are all cults, cult members. Anyway, my point is, because he dropped bars that boys on the streets or even people that have been in the streets or people that want to go into the streets can relate to. Of course, he's gonna gather men. When he tells you men are here, you know that he's so sure. You know, like ah. Man, guys, music, yeah. Uh, the Modi Black is smart, man. I love that because you can just, uh, you can relate to his songs, especially if you now understand Pigeon and you understand the Lamba. You'll be able to just resonate. Hi. Can we 
talk about that way he came in. Tear them down into pieces. What you figure this be? Follow me, talk to your gibberish. Fuck who I never listen. Yes. My wingman say pin 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 pin. In one line we are ticking. Every little thing on the wish list. Talk to your baby, your love, your destiny. <laughs> Native record, shout out Dimodu man, shout out Black Sheriff. That was an amazing feature. That yo, the bars on that is madness. Anyway, guys, listen. It's important to uh to delve into why we're here, you know, which is the breakdown, my opinion. This is just my own scores. I give new music, I give music now that I listen to. So I'll just get right straight to it. You know what I mean? Lyrics. I'm giving a 20 because the creativity, the death, the storytelling, without even saying much, it's still te- it's still telling you story. It's a 20, man. Melody, the catchiness, the originality, the overall song's appeal, the melody. It's a 20. Ha. Vocals, eh, not sure. I'll give vocals a 10 because his vocals, even though his voice is good as a rapper, is a good at, but you know, vocals, you know what I mean? You know, you can't, you know, not be Oxlade, you know? So, you know, that kind of vibe. I'll give that a, a 10. So that's a 50. Production, arrangement, mixing, overall sound. Listen, the overall sound design on this song is amazing. Like when you hear that, what the, what the season, you just get your headphones and listen to the background instrument. I'm giving this a 20. Are you mad? I'm giving it a 20. So we're on 70 already. Impact, this song is going to definitely get more replays from me and a lot of people, you know. This didn't evoke that much um, emotion, so I can't necessarily go and say, ah, the emotions are there, you know what I mean, in that sense, you know what I'm saying. It didn't really evoke anything, but I, I could see leaving a lasting impression, especially with the help of Black Sherry's vibe. <laughs> ah, that's a madness. So this alone, I'm giving this a 15 for the impact. So let me do my calculations here. I gave this 20, 20, 10, that's 50. Another 20. Hmm, that's 70. Then 85. Amazing song, man. Guys, and until next time. Peace. Fire! Fire!